So if you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering, one, what is it like working for Disney? And two, how can I work for Disney? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you just that. Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel ESP Daniela. Feel free to go ahead and follow me on TikTok as well. My content is very, very popular on there. But anywho, getting back into the whole premise of this video and everything, I have just finished up week three of my internship working for Disney slash ABC News at the national level. And I am specifically working for ABC News Live, which is fairly new to the whole Disney, ABC News family, because you know you got Good Morning America, you have The View, you have Nightline, What Would You Do, etc. And so with this internship, I had the opportunity to tell them my preference as far as where I would prefer to work for the internship. So when they were asking me this, I said that I have a preference for like working for Good Morning America or The View or ABC News Live. And then they placed me with ABC News Live. And so far I have loved it. My bosses are amazing and they make me feel very at home, even though this is a completely remote internship. Of course, if we weren't in the pandemic or anything, it would be in person. Um, but I work for ABC News Live as a producer, interning producer, and I have already learned so much within the three weeks so far. And this is a 10 week internship, so I have seven more weeks to go. Um, and I'm actually the very, very first intern that they ever have because ABC News Live is still new. Um, it was recently established back in 2018, I believe. So that was like, what, three years ago from now, 2021. So they're still trying to build up like their audience and all that. And of course, since I have a background, a strong background in like social media and engaging my audience via social media, I feel like that was one of the things that really helped with propelling my application over other people trying to get this same exact internship. So now that that has been established, let's get into how I got to even knowing about this internship, how I even knew it existed in the first place. Okay, pause. I wanted to share with you guys this free resource that can help you with securing your next internship, job, career, whatever it may be. And this is especially helpful for those of us who don't already have, you know, prior paid work experience with this let me just show you. So the site is called theforage.com and they show you bite-sized five to six hour virtual work experience programs that give students a genuine career advantage with Fortune 500 companies such as Microsoft, City, General Electric, etc. And here's some of their feature programs that they're highlighting right now, such as this one, Software Engineering Virtual Experience. So when you click on that, it redirects you to here, this page, and you just register. And again, it's totally free to do. And you can watch this preview video right here so you can have better insight on all of what it's going to cover. And if you scroll down further on the page, you will see all these insights of what you can get out of this program, such as earning a certificate at the very end of it, what you will be learning, such as Python, which is commonly used in computer science, and some of the benefits of doing these free courses through Forage is that you will greatly increase your chances of getting that job and what it is truly like working for a particular company because they will assign you with tasks here and there of assignments that you would actually be doing if you were working for that particular company. One of the perks of Forage is that no applications or experience is required and you get to learn highly relevant skills in your own time at your own pace. And also if you are curious on what courses they are offering at that point in time, Time, you would just go here to where it says course catalog and scroll down and then you would just filter the options to whatever interest you have and as you can see they have quite a variety of different types of things that you can be doing so let's say for example that you want to work for Microsoft and boom all of these courses that are offered by Microsoft totally for free and again you will be way more likely to get the job with them if you do one of their courses so I am a part of what is called a professional organization relating to my major, relating to what I want to do. So since I major in broadcast journalism, well, I just graduated with my undergrad um, in broadcast journalism. So I am a member of the National Association of Black Journalists or NABJ for short. So once you become a member of this organization or other professional organizations, especially as they relate to media, um, they hook you up with a lot of internship opportunities, scholarship opportunities, mentoring, webinar sessions on how to improve your skills as a professional. All these different things are made available to you at a really affordable cost. So to be a member of a professional organization, typically I have to pay like 
40 to 50 dollars per year but honestly it has been worth it because now i have this internship and i got another internship just last year another remote type of internship that one was supposed to be um, through nabj it was supposed to be in person but again the pandemic caused it to be not in person and so originally it was planned to be like a all expenses type of internship which means that they were willing to pay for transportation like airfare they were willing to pay for like housing hotel stay meals all of that but because of the pandemic that old internship was technically a unpaid internship which i typically do not advise people to do but with that particular internship, I learned so, so much. I was literally trained one-on-one -on -one by some of the leading graphic designers for the New York Times and my graphic design skills went from here to here because I have a background in graphic design. I did three years of it back in high school. Originally, I thought I would major in it once in college, but I switched to journalism last minute. But the thing about graphic designing is that it is so important in any industry, especially in media. So having that skill um, under my belt, having that and mentioning that like on my work portfolio, my resume, cover letter, all of that also, I believe, is what really helped with propelling my application for this internship with Disney. So yeah, with this internship for Disney slash ABC News, I found out about it initially via an email newsletter because they send, again, internship scholarship opportunities for us to apply for so i applied for it and let me tell you something about this application it was so long that was one of the longest applications i have ever come across and i've already have you know a lot of experience with applications because of course i help students win scholarships and scholarships always have applications whether they're short or long and this one was the longest i've ever experienced i was literally this close this close so just not filling it out because it was taking forever just as how the internship i had last year with nabj um that application took forever it was very long i wanted to highlight this because so many of us miss out on opportunities because the application is asking for too much paperwork too much information so please 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 do not let that get in the way of you because I literally would not be where I am today with internships or scholarships, having graduated just recently debt free with my undergrad and already having like three scholarships for grad school had I got deflected from or detracted from the application process simply because it was asking for too much information and paperwork. So please don't let that get to you. Also, I wanted to provide a bit more of a background regarding this internship. So of course, I'm a member of NABJ. However, this internship was also partnered with other professional organizations that are also ethnic organizations. So for example, NABJ, National Association of Black Journalists, but there's also one for Hispanic journalists and there's also one for Asian journalists. So within each of these professional organizations, they were picking one or several of us, I'm not sure how many in total there's gonna to be, but so far there's been one of us from each of those organizations who were selected for this opportunity. And then from there, we were spread to different markets, different shows. Some people went to Good Morning America, some people went to The View, and then I went to ABC News Live. So that's how this works. And so this is why it is so imperative, in my opinion, to be a member of a professional organization because they have these partnerships with very established brands and companies that can get you into that door much faster rather than just only depending on like LinkedIn or Indeed to find you a job. I also wanted to plug in here that if you go to jobs.disneycareers.com, uh, they have all of these different careers that you can go into. So basically you would just type in a keyword and all of these different opportunities will show up. And you can filter the options even more by like states. If you're wanting to work in a particular state, you don't wanna be out of state or whatever. And so let's say that you want to apply for this one in Chicago. So you would scroll down, make sure you thoroughly read, and I mean thoroughly read um, the responsibilities that you have, basic qualifications, all of that. And then you can either apply to it now or apply later. So let's just click apply now for an example. And you would have to sign in with your username. Okay, so I signed in and let's press, let's get started. Now, a lot of these things are already pre put in here because 
since I'm already in their system as an intern for Disney, a lot of these things I don't have to uh, update. Now I will warn you ahead of time that applying for jobs or internships for Disney, it's not going to take you like 10 minutes. It might take you up to an hour. Um, so be prepared, set some time aside and really focus in on it. So now let's talk about my actual application that secured me this very highly competitive uh, internship working for Disney. Because the thing about this particular internship and working for the news at the national level, like it's one thing to work for local market, you know, state level news, but to work at the national level, my application had to be really, really compelling um, to stand out, especially as someone straight out of college. I imagine they might have a preference for hiring people for this internship who are more seasoned, you know, years and years of experience in the field of journalism and like me who's just, you know, a recent college graduate. But yeah, let's just look at my resume and my cover letter that helped me with securing this internship. And this is also a great example on how you should format your cover letter and resume for scholarships as well because a lot of scholarships require cover letters, resumes, work portfolio, things like that. And we will also look at my work portfolio so you can see all of the amazing things that I have done as a journalist and producer. Now, before I conclude this video, I mentioned several times throughout it that I help students win scholarships. And the cool thing about knowing how to win scholarships, like the algorithm to knowing that, those same skill sets can be applied to obtaining internships, jobs, whatever opportunity it may be for you. So I highly recommend that you watch my other YouTube videos on here, as well as considering to get my book, The Scholarship Algorithm. It actually recently sold out in Target. It's pretty popular now, like, especially ever since I went viral constantly on TikTok for it and all of my advice there. Uh, but yeah, I have won 28 scholarships, 25 of which were for undergrad, three of which were for grad school, and I plan on winning even more. So um, yeah, consider getting my book. A lot of people have won it, such as this student who won uh, the $100,000 scholarship from Dr. Pepper after reading and studying my book. And then this student here, um, she was able to win the $40,000 scholarship from Amazon, Amazon's Future Engineer Scholarship highly competitive both of those so again the book is literally not you can't find this information anywhere else I'm I'm serious um, my experience with scholarships is very unique I have won scholarships that I was technically ineligible for just as how you see people applying for jobs or internships of where they might not meet a hundred percent of the qualifications the same thing can be said for certain scholarship applications so a lot of the advice I have you won't find that anywhere, okay? Anywho, subscribe, comment, and have a wonderful day. Yeah.